We've had a lot of fun in the Fox Sports rugby department over the last few weeks. Just the mention of Shark Dive has been enough to put Greg Clark and Rod Kafer into a sweat, although the fear of seasickness has had a fair bit to do with that. The moment of truth came earlier today, just south of Cape Town. Thank you, Nick. Well, we're about 90 minutes' drive from Cape Town at a little place called Clainby. And thanks to South African tourism, Rod and I are going to tick another box on the bucket list, shark cage diving. Who's got the biggest challenge this week, though? Us or the Wallabies who take on the spring box at Newlands on Saturday? Clarky, our challenge is pretty simple. Try not to vomit on the boat on the way out there. Return with all body parts after we do our shark cage diving. Wallabies much, much tougher. They've got to win the physical battle against the Springboks on Saturday night. They've got to get their scrum right and they've got to fix up their defence. It's been too porous of late. That's a real big challenge for them. It's going to be like that mentality. They need to take the shark cage mentality because that's what it's like playing at Newlands. Tough place to win. We've got a poor record there. Wallabies are going to have to play well. More on the rugby in a moment, but right now we're heading to Shark Alley. Nick Saluto from Marine Dynamics is looking after us today. Nick, thanks for your hospitality. Uh, are we actually going to see some sharks? Uh, well, Clarkey, they don't call this necessarily the shark alley or the McDonald's drive through for nothing. This area is teeming with great white sharks, especially in our winter months, because this is the area they'll come to feed on basically these little guys behind me, known as the Cape Fur Seal. Newlands, the test match, the Wallabies and the Springboks, who's going to win it? Who's the Wallabies again? I mean, really? We just know the Booker in this part of the world. The Booker, the best team in the world. I was starting to like you. Come on, I think we have a good thing going. Let's keep it that way. Well, we have arrived at Shark Alley. Now, there are over 60,000 Cape Fur Seals here. 60,001. I'm feeling more orca than seal at the moment. <laughs> we have spotted a great white shark. So, folks, we are going in. Well, we're back safe and sound, and when in South Africa, shark cage diving, it is a no-brainer. It's a must. No illness, Clark, in all appendages. We've had a pretty good day. All right, that's ticked off the, the bucket list. What about the next thing for me? A Wallaby win at Newlands. What have they got to do to beat the Springboks? A couple of things we know. Scrum, defence, get it right. But the key thing to me is we have a look at some of the vision in Foxfield. We'll be getting across the game line, and the Wallabies really struggled last time against the Springboks to get any sort of gain line ascendancy. They were always on the back foot. And what happens? Every breakdown that you go a little bit backwards, your forwards have to run backwards, you soak up more energy, and you bring the spring box into the game. Big, strong, powerful forward pack. We know that. Who compete heavily for the ball? If the Wallabies don't get across the gain line, we really play into the spring box hands. And we can do it, we can do it simply by getting into a little bit of pattern of play, flattening the attack up as we see the Wallabies do it here nicely. Get across the gain line. But then when you get across the gain line, you have to be disciplined in your cleanup. You have to focus in on the ball and take the players out who are competing for the ball at the breakdown. They've got lots of players across the board in their team who will compete. Everyone from the wingers to the back row on their front row compete for the ball. Get them out of there, get across the game line and we'll be OK, Clarky. I know where you're coming from. It's a huge challenge though for the Wallabies and good luck to them on uh, Saturday. Well, Nick, that's it for now. We're heading to Stellenbosch on the way to Cape Town.